All right, we made it to the Augsburg Ridge Trailhead. And you're not gonna believe who pulled in the same time we did. What's up? Backpacking with Jason, Jason Wall, right there for you, people. I had to speed it up so I dusted him on this dirt <laughs> road, real good. Yeah, there's a lot of dust on the road coming up here. It's been crazy. So Jason is yeah. like the king of the Red River Gorge. This guy knows just about every trail you can think of, and he's. This is kind of the plan for today. Step one. This is Oxier Ridge. Actually, we're going to take this part. But if you do Oxier Ridge, you can go up here and don't take that way. Stay on the outside, and you can see a lot of sightseeing. You can see double arch, a whole lot of sightseeing right here. Courthouse Rock, Haystack Rock, double arch, lots of stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the double arch trail up this way, and we're going to go off trail and go see Star Gap. Star Gap is something you've never seen, right? Never been there. Let's do it. All right, man. Let's go. So we're on our way to Star Gap. Jason has just been telling us all about the trails out here. It's pretty awesome. And uh, this is stuff I've never been on before. I've been on a lot of the marked trails out here at the gorge, but never on these unmarked ones. So I'm real excited. If I'm breathing heavy today, that's because it's like 91 <laughs> degrees out. And uh, it's just hot. We're sweating a lot already. And we haven't really done much yet. And we're not wearing the backpacks yet. So I'm sure here in a little bit, we're gonna be drinking a lot, a lot of water. So the last couple days here in Kentucky have been uh, these little pop-up storms. They're really fast, but they're wicked. And uh, we're starting to hit the rain right now. And depending on which way this thing shifts, we could get drenched. We'll see what happens. But uh, <laughs> we're starting to feel the rain right now. This could be interesting. said this is the living wall he says it's never dry it's always wet it's beautiful all the colors you see but it is it's just always wet always soft beautiful On the top of Star Gap, which is pretty cool, man. Like, it's funny. We'll be out here, and Jason just goes, "Hey, you want to climb up that rock?" <laughs> and you come out, and you get one of these views again. Um, it's just beautiful out here. Uh, just awesome. We were just down underneath this just a few minutes ago, and now we're up here, and this view is unbelievable. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. Sun's bright blue. This is the good life right here. This is incredible. Well, we're heading back up to the parking lot. We had a great time going down to uh, Star Gap. That was incredible. Uh, Jason's the man showing us all these places. Uh, now we're getting ready to head back to the truck. We're gonna go down to a different parking area and uh, we're gonna head up to Hanson's Point. We're gonna spend the evening up there. Might go down and get some water and check out a couple other little areas, but it looks like we may be getting some serious rain on us. So we wanna get our camp set up so that we can stay dry as much as we can. But so far so good. I can't wait to see what the rest of this day is gonna look like. So we are on the trail. We've left the Gray's Arch parking lot and we are heading uh, along the Sheltoe Trace up to Hanson's Point. Uh, it's kind of cool to be on the Sheltoe um, after being able to hike the whole thing over the last several months. But uh, we've been having a great time so far. We're trying to outrun some storms that are headed our way. Want to get our camp set up before it gets too crazy. But we are super excited about getting out there and setting up camp. And apparently 
Jason brought steak. So the man's just never let you down. He just never, he just never lets you down. I'm up on the first campsite up here. Uh, it's really incredible up here. You can see why so many people come up here to camp. It's beautiful. But uh, we gotta, I guess we're not there yet. So we still got a little ways to go. But from what I hear, this is nothing compared to where we're going. So this is campsite number two. Nice campsite, but according to Jason, we're still not in the promised land yet. So uh, we're gonna keep going. Amen, brother. This is it, right, Jason? No. Not, not yet. I not promise yet? You. No. Still gotta go? Still gotta go. All right, we're gonna keep going. Looks like uh, this is campsite number four. John. Yeah. This isn't it yet, bro. Quit asking me. <laughs> I will show you. Okay. So we got a little preview of the view we're about to have just a second ago. It's a little overlook. But uh, we're about to hit the Big Mac Daddy up here. And uh, we're real excited. It's it's like getting out on Pride Rock, man. This is like, it was gorgeous. We could see it from where we were standing. And I'm not gonna lie, I got a little excited. Uh, the view out here is gonna be unbelievable. So I can't wait to see it. This is it. Finally there. Woo! Oh man. Cannot wait. Enjoy. Oh. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh, this is insane. Oh, you can see forever. And there it is, people. Oh. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. And there's just some places in this world that you shouldn't be allowed to see unless you earn it. And this is one of them. This is unbelievable, man. Oh my gosh. You can see forever. I think I'm just gonna sit here forever. I don't think I wanna move. Awesome. <laughs> it's unbelievable. That was easily the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Um, it was absolutely amazing out there. And uh, we're heading back to our camp now. We just threw our backpacks down because we wanted to go check it out. Now we're gonna go back camp and tonight tonight I'm trying something a little different I'm gonna try and hammock camp um, never backpack with a hammock before I've done it car camping but never backpacking so we'll see how it goes tonight I may be leaning on Jason a little bit today for some uh, some pointers we'll see what happens just got done getting our water supply for the night I think each of us carry, is carrying back at least about five, liter, five liters of water, so uh, it was nice. It was good getting down there and taking care of it. We wanted to get up here before what looked like a rainstorm was going to come in, but it's starting to look now like it may not hit us. It might go around us. We had about 10 minutes worth of some pretty heavy wind coming through, but there was no rain with it, so we'll count that a blessing. This is what backpacking with Jason is really all about. It's not YouTube videos. It's him being a chef. Potatoes. I didn't know there were potatoes involved. Potatoes, little potatoes. 
Oh, Ray man. Buzz, and I even have some A1 sauce. We have squished King's Hawaiian rolls. John's butt. Pretty much. Yeah. They were in my hammock and I forgot and <laughs> went to change into some sandals and yeah, so that happened. But man, you should smell this. This oh, is awesome. So I got a really cool opportunity to do YouTube Live with Jason just now, and it was a lot of fun. It was just really cool getting to talk to some of our friends on YouTube, uh, answer a few little questions here or there, and just kind of chit chat with some really cool people. I'm excited about the stakes, I'm excited about YouTube Live, but I'm really excited about getting back out on Hanson's Point here in a little bit, but that may be thwarted due to the rain. Uh, there's rumors of some serious, severe thunderstorms coming our way and we're just gonna have to play it by ear and see what happens. So, cross your fingers. So here's the thing, it doesn't end with just steaks. Jason comes out here and makes these potatoes. Whoop, whoop. Jason, whoop, whoop. you're a chef, man. <laughs> we love you. Maybe a backpacking chef. I'm totally down. There is the best backpacker, the best backpacking chef. Nice, nice. Seriously, this stuff is so good. Um, Ian looked at him and said it's, it's restaurant quality. I mean, look at this. Enjoy your mountain house, guys. Because this is so much better. I just want to say, I believe in miracles because there was a storm front coming through here that should have destroyed us. And it just dissipated. And I mean, this is what's coming our way. Beautiful. And that's what's crushing somebody just to the east of us. So apparently it, it left us and then it blew back up behind us. So we're out here back out on Hanson's Point just getting ready to watch this sunset and see these beautiful colors in the sky. I mean, you've got to see this. It's just gorgeous purples and oranges. Cameras never do justice to this kind of thing. But man, what a night. It has been a lot of fun backpacking with these two guys. And uh, I'm just thankful I had the opportunity to hang out with them. This has been awesome. And that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You got the sunset. Good call, Jason. It's a few minutes before 7, and we're back out here on Hanson's Point. And uh, as you can see, this is just gorgeous out here. Fog hasn't lifted out of the valley yet. Jason's getting ready to make himself some Jason breakfast with some biscuits and jelly. He's got some coffee he's going to be making. <laughs> Sun's rising over here in the east. This is beautiful out here. This has only been a one day trip, but it was worth it. Um, I never knew this existed out here. Never had a chance to come out here before until I'd seen some guys on YouTube doing this. And when I talked to Jason, he said, is there any place you want to go? And the first thing I said was, I want to go to Hanson's Point. And I'm really glad that we got to come out here because this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, man, creation is something else. This is awesome. probably about eight o'clock and we are done out here getting ready to head back to the trucks and head home we're I think we're gonna go to Miguel's and get some uh, omelets which is gonna be pretty awesome I want to say goodbye to this beautiful campsite I mean it's just gorgeous out here what I've kind of come to realize all the time I was putting into baseball and training and working out it's pretty cool getting to hike back on this trail a little bit. Kind of miss it. Shell Toy was a pretty awesome trail. Jason? Yes. Thank you. This no was awesome, problem, man. man. This is awesome. This was a great, great trip. Gotta love the Red River Gorge. Always. Oh. Always. Hansen's, Hansen's point was unbelievable. Getting to see the sunrise and the sunset. 
if you haven't done it, you need to come down here and check it out. It's beautiful. If you want to see any awesome videos about the Red River Gorge, check out Jason's videos. I'll leave a link in the description below. I want you guys to come out here and just view this beautiful place. If you come to the Red River Gorge and you want somebody to go with, just hit me up. I mean, I'll keep an email on my YouTube channel. You just holler at me. I'll try to get free and come out. He's really not kidding. Hit him up. He'll probably bring steak. Probably. Ribeye. So I'm out here hiking and something I never thought would ever happen has happened today. I have now officially met Daniel Boone. And that's really his name. This is really Daniel Boone, the actual descendant yep, yep, of yep, the family. Yeah, it was uh, his brother Ned who lost his head to Shawnees in 1780 in Bourbon County. He is my five great grandfather, according to the records. Awesome. So I got to meet a celebrity. I was told I was related today. to Daniel Boone. I am Daniel Boone. That's my name. I'm a botanist. I'm down here looking looking for sand hickory today in Red River Gorge, Kentucky. So that, I met some gentlemen awesome. down here, and they got to meet Daniel Boone yeah. in the woods. <laughs> We're <are some> lucky. <laughs> I get to mark that one off the bucket list now. <laughs> I 